Hey everybody, I just learned about a new website called Classroom Screen that I want to share with you. What I really like about Classroom Screen is that you can do everything from one location. So if you're remote teaching, hybrid teaching, concurrently teaching, or in the classroom teaching, you can actually use Classroom Screen to do all of your teaching from one location. All right, if I want to launch Classroom Screen, I can click Launch. But I want to be in my account, so I want to log in. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to log in with Google. Once logged in with Google, it'll take me right to the classroom screen. But before we get to any of the tools and what the screen does, I want to go back to home. And so, of course, it shows that I'm logged in. It'll show all my screens here, which I can rename. But what I want to focus on first is the personalizing of this. So with Classroom Screen, there's a paid version and a free version. I'm going to highlight the free version today. So one thing in the free version that you do get is to be able to create class groups here. And in order to do that, I can just add from the plus sign, type in um, my next period, and then start typing in names. Okay, I'm not going to keep period three because I'm not using that for this today, but I already have a period one and a period two here. And down below is my widget bar. I can personalize this. So I've already disabled the calendar, but if I want the calendar, I just drag it up there. But I'm not going to use the calendar in class, so I'm not going to keep it on my toolbar. So your widget bar is basically your toolbar that you'll work out of. And so with your class groups, your name list, you can use this as your group maker and your random name picker. So let's go back to my screens. My screens is where you're going to work from. Because this is the free version, your screens do not get saved. So if I open this tab right now and I create my period one or my period two screen, that's fine as long as I stay in this tab. If I close out of this tab at all, I'll have to start again. So what I want to do is I can name this my period one screen. And then I can also add a screen if I want to be ready for period two. Or I could just use the same screen all day long. It really doesn't matter. I don't have to name them. I'm going to open period one. And you have a toolbar over here. You can actually hide it if you want to just kind of hide the controls a little bit or you can make it seen again. You don't have a save option over here because it's for the pro feature. But you do have this over here where you can name your screen um, or you could get a background. Down here is the widget bar or what I call the toolbar. You can hide it or you could keep it up, whatever's easiest. And then the first thing we want to start with is background. So the background, you can upload your own backgrounds, but again, in the free version, these don't stay. So if you close out, you'll have to go find the picture again if you want to keep a certain picture. If not, they have provided backgrounds or you could just have a, a plain color in the back. And then you have all your tools down here. So these are basic, you know, you have your clock here. If you don't want military time, you can go to regular time. Um, you have your stopwatch here that you can start, stop, clear. Like you can always X out. You have your timer that pops up. You can move this around. You can make it whatever time you want and X that out. If you were in class, you might use the traffic light. If you were in class, you might even use the work symbols. Um, you might find a way to use this in remote as well. QR code I think is awesome, but it's really difficult when um, you're working remotely. But if you have kids in classroom that can scan this, all you would have to do is take the link from something and paste it in here and it creates an automatic QR code for your students to scan. So that's a really nice feature. Then you can always do a sound level if your kids are doing group work. You can have a sensitivity at three, max noise, whatever you want it to do. And then I really like the dice. They have one, two, or three die. Every time you click, it rolls. So that's a really nice feature. And then you have the random name. So I had that period one list saved, and I also have my period two. So as long as I choose, it'll go through that name list and choose a name. What's really nice is this little settings wheel over here it gives me an option, option, remember chosen students. If I click that radio dial on, see it, Jamal was selected. 
But if I want that to be, if I want to say Jamal can be selected again, I can X him out or I could just turn, keep that radio dial turned off. So I like the random name picker. So now I want to add my content to the screen so that I have it ready when I'm ready for class. So I'm going to select media down here and I can add an image. I can do a webcam view of myself, um, embed something or pop in a YouTube video. So I am going to embed something and I want to embed my Google Slides presentation. So I'm going to go to file, publish to the web, select embed. I've already published it. So I'm going to copy that. And then I'm going to paste that in here. So I have my slides presentation that I'm going to use for the day. And then I know I want to share this video about the day of and life of an ancient Greek, uh, Athenian Greek. So I'm going to click on my media again and select YouTube and paste that in there. So now I have not only my slides for the day, but I also have my video that I'm going to use. And if I feel like I'm going to use my um, timer for anything, you know, if I'm going to have um, my students brainstorming stuff, I can just go ahead and grab that and stick that up here in the corner for myself so that it's just ready to go. Now, what's really nice is if I am doing anything remote or hybrid or concurrently and I need to have students at home watching me or doing class with me while I have kids in the classroom or I'm fully remote, I can actually just share this one tab in my Zoom or Google Meet or whatever web conferencing tool I'm using. And I can play my video right in here. I can play my slides right in here. And I won't need to pop between different tabs. So that is really nice. So if I'm ready to do my slides presentation, I just make it large. I can click through like I normally would a Google Slides presentation. When I'm done, it goes right back there. If I'm ready to play my video, you can see it plays right in here. I can make it large as well, play it from there, or I can go back smaller. And then if I'm done with it, I can actually make it really tiny and just move it out of the way. Maybe I'm done with it. Okay. Um, another thing I can do is draw. I can have an on the spot drawing. So if I'm a math teacher or a science teacher, or if I'm even doing timelines, I can quickly you know, draw some, this is the thickness of my line. I also have different colors to choose from and I can draw different things. I also have the ability to put text up. So if I had my students brainstorming something, I can actually take notes when we brainstorm and they even have a few formatting features and I can start my list of brainstorms here for my students. So we have an active list. And if I want to go back to my slideshow, I can move that out of the way again. And I can come back to my slideshow, keep going through. And I say, OK, guys, I want you to do a little more brainstorming. I can pull this back and we can keep adding to our list as a class. But this is really nice because, as you can see, now that I've had my classroom screen set up, I no longer have to go between tabs and I'm doing my entire lesson off this one screen. Okay, so the last thing I want to show you in classroom screen is the group maker. To do that, though, I have to go back home. So I'm going to go home and I'm going to say add group maker and I'm going to open this. And if I want to, I could say that this is my period one group maker. So I could do this ahead of time. As long as I don't close out of my tab, um, it'll stay there for me. So this is my period one groups. Um, these are all the students I had in period one because that's my class list name that got saved. And I say next and I say, I want these students to be, I want six groups. So it's going to give me four students per group. I'm going to say, go ahead and create those groups. And I'm going to look at all of my groups. So here's all six of my groups. And I say, oh, I can't have this person in that same group so I can change these around a little bit okay so if I want these changed around I can um, make them myself once they're there and I can do this ahead of time because if I go back home as you can see my period one group is here so if I'm on my classroom screen and I'm ready to do that group work I can just come back to home and then open my group screen and say this is your groups and so 
yeah, I randomly created them, but then I was able to manipulate and move students around as I needed to. And remember, in the free version, your screens do not get saved. So if I were to close out of this tab or log out, if I the next time I log back in, these will not be here off to start over again. But I've found that if I keep the tab open, it stays open and I don't have any issues with keeping these here. So just keep that in mind as you're going through this. You may not want to prepare all of your class peers at the beginning of the day if you think that you might close out or lose the tab. So I hope you like the idea of classroom screen, being able to work from one location for everything and organize everything all on one page. Um, you can make it bigger, pull things as you need to, and have the focus be right on this tab and not have to worry about which screen you're sharing. Hope you enjoy classroom screen.